This short video is designed as a student guide to the identification of Thuya plicata. The mature bark of Thuya plicata is typically red-brown, sometimes quite bright red-brown, peeling off in long fibrous strips uh, vertically up and down the tree. Uh, often the stem will come to be quite heavily fluted, as with this specimen here. And Thuya plicata will tend to keep a tight conic shape even into maturity um, and uh, quite often you get a distinctive spiralling of the upper crown where it looks like the foliage is arranged in spiralling plates as it heads towards the top of the spire. Quite often you'll see Thuya piccata being used as an evergreen screen in the UK which is a relatively fast growing conifer uh, and vigorous and it has a sort of luscious look to the foliage, it's really quite a uh, bright mid vigorous green that you get from the foliage. The male pollen cones are pale cream colour marked with slight black striations and emerge in March. And the female flowers, very small grey green, again peering at the tips of lateral shoots, uh, only on some branches. These female flowers then develop uh, into slightly elongate green turning to brown cones within the one year. Um, they're quite different from chamois caparis cones because they're not globular. They're definitely as if you've got a uh, chamois caparis cone and you've rolled it with your hand and formed it into a, more like a cigar shape. As mentioned before, you have on the spray a very luscious, vigorous uh, green, uh, like a very sort of healthy lawn green colour uh, on the upper side of the spray, slightly paler underneath. Uh, but probably the most noticeable thing is uh, grabbing a piece of the foliage, rubbing it between your thumb and your finger, you get a very strong fruity smell, which is distinctive of Thuya once you've learnt it, there's no mistaking it. And here we can see the slightly paler underside of the spray and some of the green cones that I mentioned before, green when they're young, turning to brown as they mature. And a close-up of the scales show that they're relatively rounded, closely spaced together, and the spray overall feels very smooth and will lie two-dimensional against the uh, tabletop so it lies flat.